Imagine this, living without air conditioning during this brutal summer heat, mold growing underneath sinks, even holes in the ceilings. 41 Action News reporter Josh Helmuth shows us these are just a few of the problems people in one Raytown apartment complex are dealing with. So we found them some answers. At the Amber Glen Apartments in Raytown, several people are voicing their frustration, including Alice, who says she's had work requests in since November of last year. I've been putting in work orders and nobody's been coming out trying to do anything. Alice says she's had a broken air conditioner for a month and mold underneath her kitchen sink. She's not alone. They stopped the leak, but now they won't fix it. Patricia Morris still has this eyesore above her shower. She claims workers left these tools behind three weeks ago. And Samantha Carson lives in the same building and says she's had this hole in her ceiling for weeks with mold below her sink since September. I've been complaining about my kids being sick, wondering why their allergies has been messing up, and this is what we found here, mold. Carol Smith doesn't even have a backdoor patio. My porch door has been gone for two months. It busted out. And their fix-it is this piece of siding plywood. She says the installed plywood is a big security risk. All somebody has to do is just go, and they're in my apartment. We tracked down an expert to find out what a renter can do if their apartment is uninhabitable. If you've got a situation where the landlord will not fix the property, then the solution is give your notice that uh, you're terminating the month to month tenancy and move. And if the property won't terminate the lease, another option is to call city housing inspectors. If code violations are found, the owner of the property could be held liable. Josh Helmuth, 41 Action News. After attempting to reach the owners today, the man who manages the maintenance company for the property called us back about 90 minutes ago or so. Ken Snyder says he takes responsibility for the trouble the tenants are experiencing and that his team has been working 12-hour days to rehabilitate the property after taking it over about a year ago. He says fixing the air conditioning units will now be a priority.